How's it going guys? I'm your host Corban Gaming. Welcome back to the next episode of the Let's Play Dragon Fable series and here we are on episode 99 guys. Wow, we have come a really long way but let's save the big celebrations for episode 100. Okay, so in today's episode, we are going to cover us. Okay, uh, Ross, whatever his name is, however you pronounce it. So previously, he got us out of Nibohim after witnessing that horrific uh, people eating celebration event. So now let's see where we are headed. We also learned previously that he was uh, Mazurek's ex-boyfriend. So about that favor, let's play DF. Yeah, yeah it didn't. It, it was a life or death situation. I had to offer my services. You know how it is. You know, you know what? I think we are even. I get this wonderful free cruise around the seas after all. A one-way trip, I'll now be shipping you back there. Come on, come now, Mars. You're joking, right? I didn't even get a chance to pack. The Magisterium may have turned the blind eye to you uh, for... But that... But after helping us play DF escape, they'll be looking for any excuse to drag you in front of that god of dars. But, but my collection of vintage mushroom brew, my miniatures, all of my likely already seized. I, I see. Hey, hey, let's play DF. Do they have mushroom, mushroom brew in the bar... Barbarous, sorry, the land of dragons? I don't think so, sorry Karos. If there's anything I can do to help, you did help me escape, even if it was a bit of a bumpy ride. That's, that's. A year and I'll be looking to sail with me, there'll be a place you might enjoy making your new home. Raven Lost, aye, an ancient underground city for the weaver types and whatnot. A city, a city of weavers in the land of dragons? I spent some time there myself, made some good friends, including Let's Play DF here. Other weavers, that sounds nice. I could I could maybe live there. Other chaos weavers. Yeah, about that. Actually, say Kavros, how did you end up becoming a chaos weaver? Isn't chaos weaving illegal in the Shapeless Empire? Oh no, you didn't have to play DM. It is, it is a dashing daring tale, and since you requested, I will so very graciously share my epic uh, of pain, loss, recovery and skull daggery. My epic what? Epic story? I think maybe they left that out. The short version Kavros. So be it. Well, well, I started when my good for nothing parents abandoned me on the steps of Etheria. Sorted me up, left me on the ground, never saw him again. How do you even remember that? This true, this true. A poor babe, alone and forgotten, taken in by the school of weaving. Really? What were you raised by the teachers? Okay, okay, I was actually a bit older, old enough to attend and board, but I never did see my parents again. Don't know what happened. Etheria was a good enough place, it was just a bit boring. I mean, you couldn't blame me, really. Living, learning, working and playing, all in the same place? It was just so boring. Blame you for what? I mean, I mean, seriously, they wouldn't even let us out without a cheaper road. It was just the same thing day after day. I needed some excitement. What do you do? Can, can you imagine? Just classes and chores day in and day out. Anyone would have gone... Karos. Hmm. Oh, oh, as I was saying, I was expelled. <laughs> Now, now, you want me to give you all the salacious details? Well, I certainly can't resist. There was this country kid from some family from around Mortem, I think. He, well, I don't remember his name. I gave him some silly there. Didn't think the kid would actually try it. Well, well, he did. Broke his way into the headmaster's office, went ahead and started trying to weave with the headmaster's spirit looms. As you can imagine, he got expelled on the spot. Of course, they kicked me out too, uh, kicked me out after that too. Wait, you don't mean... Oh yes, didn't help that I had a disciplinary sheet longer than I was taught. Simpler times. No, I mean, you were the one who got Tomix expelled. Was that his name? Pasty looking annoying kid. Red hair? That's it, we're tossing you overboard. Wait, wait up, did I say something wrong? Tomix be dead, Kavros. You set him on a path that led him through much pain and suffering, even the end. Now, now, look, I was just a kid. I was bored. If I have known that he would mean so much to you. This ain't about me. I want ye off me vessel now. Let's play DF some help. Oh, oh, this can be the favor you owe me. I, I, Captain, Captain, storm approaching fast. Look, look in to be magical sorts. We'll deal with you later. All hands on deck. Okay, right. So, storm elemental thingies. Okay, stone and energy will be good. Uh, do have anything that's stone or energy here. Never mind. Uh, I'm gonna do fury first. Oh my god, the black. Also, can I just say the colouring on this looks very weird. Like, it looks like, I don't know, super... I, I don't know what's the artist's term to describe it, but yeah, why is it so... Deepish? Uh, I, I don't even know what it's called. 
Uh, yeah, it just doesn't look very nice. Like they've done this colors, uh, type of coloring scheme before previously, and I didn't, I wasn't really a big fan of it either. So yeah, why, why do they use this color scheme? I don't get it. Is it to show like it? The colors pop a little bit too much, in my opinion. Yeah, that's what I feel. Oh wait, what? What? Hold up. Guess abilities require dragon amulet. Wait, what the heck? Okay. So you can only use the shield and the quick shot. Oh, I actually didn't know that. They actually lock guess abilities behind DA2? Wait, what? Okay, yeah, that I learned something new. I thought either the entire guess was locked behind DA or the entire guess was just accessible by everyone. So. It seems that they locked certain guest abilities behind DA as well. Was this ever documented anywhere? If it was, I had no idea. Damn, I, I can't believe it. Even after playing this game for so many years, I am learning something new. That is crazy. Wow, if so, what what is the I don't know, what is the point of that? To lock certain guest abilities behind DA. Either just have them fully unlocked or have them not unlocked at all. Why? Why certain abilities behind DA, certain abilities not behind DA? That doesn't make sense to me. Please die. Oh god. Let's go, let's go upwards. It's supposed to clear out everything. Oh wow. Why do these guys have so much health? And of course the lag isn't helping either, probably because of the weather effects, so there's nothing that I can really... I mean, I can turn off the weather effects, but uh, we'll just leave it there, it's fine. Uh, maybe stuff if you're watching, like just standardize it or something, I don't really know. Like, it, it's not a big deal, because uh, not that you'll be using guesses most of the time anyway, but... Uh, yeah, like it's a bit weird. You either you lock the entire guest behind the DA or you just have it fully unlocked. Why why lock certain skills uh, for DA players only? That also doesn't make sense lore-wise because uh, even if you buy a dragon amulet, it will be for your character, not for whoever the heck uh, it, that, I don't know, that guest is. So why, or if the guest has a dragon amulet skill, Shouldn't the guest already have the dragon amulet to begin with and it shouldn't have anything, anything to do with you? Like from a law standpoint, it doesn't make sense. From a tactical standpoint, it also doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Not that a lot of people use guesses anyway, or not that you need to use guesses. I mean, the, the one place where my guesses might actually come in handy is probably like, I don't know. Uh, not, not even story bosses. Story bosses, maybe, for like one or two fights in the entire story, but Mostly, if we are to talk about like, uh, if we are to talk about the in challenge, yeah. Now that they've been fully banned from the in challenges, there's there's no point like adding all these restrictions to guessers. Like either just make them very good or just uh, I don't know, make make them no, not make them worse, but yeah, they they are obsolete to begin with. So why why lock them? I don't understand. And you also can't bring Mazurek out of the quest, I think. I, I tried to teleport home just now, she didn't come along with me, I think. So yeah, if you can't even take Mazurek out of the quest, and I don't know if there's... I can't remember if there's a way to invite her apart from Book of Law. I know you can invite her via the Book of Law if you have a Dragon Amulet, but also a Book of Law, I can't remember if you can invite her or not. And if you can't, then what's with the restrictions? That makes no sense. So yeah, just saying. Okay, let's fury. So I think you're just supposed to kill everything, there's no end point or anything that I need to get to. Just kill every single element there and you're all done. Last bit. Small puddle. I just want to say the enemies in this quest are rather tanky. So yeah. I can't believe it guys, we are... how far are we? We're 99 episodes in and I would say we are about halfway through book 3 Yeah, we are about halfway through book 3 Okay, maybe not halfway yet I, I don't know what's the halfway point but Yeah, we, we are some point into book 3 and we only level 43 So I guess it goes to show that maybe 
it is actually possible to grind yeah I actually I'm quite curious can you get all the way to max level just by doing the story without doing any external grinding you might miss out on a few levels I think at the, at the back part yeah I am guesstimating maybe level 50 to 60 plus minimum yeah that's when you'll probably end up once you complete the whole story that's my guess then again, there, uh, I literally skipped almost all of the side stories. I did like one or two side stories. I did the Tomics one. I did... What else did I do? I mean, I did the Pirate training. I did the Technomancer training. All those. Technically, you can... Uh, no. Can you clear it with your base class? No, I don't think you can. Okay, so some classes you will need to train up. Like, uh, Pirate is really good. Technomancer is very good for the tougher fights like Dr. Wen. But apart from that, yeah, the, the rest of the fights... You can pretty much do a base class in my opinion. Oh no, Mazurak is in trouble. Uh, let's go ahead and stun. So this one, not a tough fight. It's just that he has a lot of HP. And also, uh, since we have guessers now, they also hit slightly harder. So yeah, and you can't take much wreck out of this quest, so you're stuck with that one guess for the whole quest, which means you have to eat the increased damage from the monster. But you know what? It's fine. It's a it's an easy quest so far. I'm not sensing anything that's difficult. It's just tedious. Yeah, monster with a lot of HP, not really difficult. Maybe just, <laughs> maybe it's cause uh pirate is just super duper good. Oh yeah, since Ninja Revamp is out, what do you guys think? Do you think we should pause here next episode and go ahead and train up the Ninja class? I think that would be a good idea, right? Like the Ninja class is actually uh, decently good for normal questing. Wait, no. For non-DAs, not so much for normal questing. But yeah, I look at the skills that they make available for non-DAs and it's actually really good even for non-DAs. I might try and attempt some in challenges or uh, non-DA using the Ninja. Uh, nin the newly revamped ninja class yeah i think it has potential as a non-da class in terms of uh, like being a da class it's not bad but i personally don't feel like it's the best of course uh it's still new a lot of people are still doing a lot of testing so we'll we'll just wait and see give it some time to settle down maybe in the future in challenges i'll take it out for a spin more often and we'll see how the uh how the class really fares up against the other classes Right now, I would still place it slightly below Pirate, in my humble opinion. Jeez, is it going to be able to die this turn? Okay, I think we can. Attack. And the dot, there we go. He can come out now, he'll not be showing you to see. Let's play the make up promise, <laughs> mask. Yeah, me work, Kavros. You may have set Tomics down his path, but without that path, none of us would have met him. And we are better for having known him. Oh wait, I clicked a bit too fast. I still can't believe. What are the odds that you, the Chaos Weaver, who helped me escape from Nibelheim, were the boy who got Tomics expelled? I do, I do feel guilty now that I'm older. I help smuggle people out of the Shapeless Empire. I bring them down to the shore, to boats like Mazas. I know what I did. I know I ruined that boy's future. So what happened after you were expelled? How do you end up Chaos Weaving and smuggling people out of the Empire? Now that, that is an interesting question. I thought myself. You thought yourself chaos weaving? Well, well, the basics are so weaving for me, Delia, and I am extraordinarily talented. I, it took much, much hardship though. I couldn't stay in Tikani. But in the Shapeless Empire, I had to live uncomfortably to avoid the Magisterium. As you saw, it takes just one. One slip out and you're food for the Shapeless. I had to be the best to survive, see? And with time, I think that may have rubbed off on the my dear Ruma, my soul ally. Didn't you say he was an elemental spirit of arrogance? Doing whatever he does in the play of elemental spirits, but he does come to my aid when necessary. Isn't isn't that right, Ruma? He cares, really. I'll be, be lost without him. I made my living as a smuggler, help people out of the empire. It was it was a good life. Always exciting, always watching my back, never a boring moment. Then then one day I helped some foreign hero escape the city in a hurry and well here we are. Koros may have his regrets, but he ain't a bad person. Not anymore at least. Right, Koros? I see, you certainly had led an interesting life, Koros. Yes, yes, well, I do what I must to survive. Speaking of which, I'll, I would like to claim that favor from you. Right now, here? Didn't you say you wanted to claim that favor in return for Mars not throwing you off overboard? 
If you don't mind, could, could you tell me about Tomix? I like a good story. Of course. Maserat, do you think it could help too? I... It all started with the corrupted elemental spirit of greed. Oh boy, that's a long story. But it's a touching and a good story. So, yeah. Smuggler's Storm Puffer. Hmm. Oh, this is... Wait, this is best in slot for dexterity? Is it? Oh wow, I actually didn't know this. Wait, wow, I've been missing out on this the whole time. Damn, I actually didn't know this. Did I farm for this? I don't remember having this item on my main, so... Yeah, I might farm for this. Wow, is this best in slot dexterity for the helm? Wow, damn, I actually didn't know. Okay. Level 70. Uh, we'll just pass this. Yep. And this... Weird, why do you take me all the way back here? Wait, so what is the next part actually? So after you go back to Nibohim, uh, and then you sail home, do you go back to Kara? Nibohim, uh... Hello Force, home at last, you return to Sulun Eska, but there's no rest for here. Something has happened in the Sand Sea, and an unlikely voice calls for it. What could this mean for the future of the Rose and the Land of the Dragons? So let's go to Kara directly. Next one here, Pedal Falls, okay, oh yeah, so this is the next part, ah, okay, and then this part is where we do, the where we encounter our first titans and all that, okay, nice, things are really shaping up now, so I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode, if you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and of course, subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more of such future content, till the next time, I'm your host, Corban Gaming, peace out.